Okay, so before the break, we worked with the context provider. Um, and a so there's there's a few other hooks that are that exist in React. Um, so let me look at hooks. So we have we have our state hook that we use a lot, um, context hook that I mentioned, the effect hook, which is the use effect from this morning. Um, reference hook, we kind of touched on that a little bit. Um, we're not going to go too much into detail. There is one more. Um, this is interesting reads escape hatches. So just using like referencing values with refs and stuff like that. These are pretty helpful. Um, there's one last one that's called use reducer that I wanted to just mention. I'm not going to really go into it. Um, but use reducer allows you, I don't know why I scrolled incorrectly. Okay. The doc. Okay. There it is. So use reducer basically allows you to, um, to use specific actions with state. So if your state is getting big and complex, um, and you want the, when you update the data, you want to have it being updated in multiple ways. So you can set certain functions that update the data. We're not going to get in too much into it. So don't, um, don't worry if it's not really making sense, but I just wanted to mention it because when you're working on your personal projects and your group, group projects, if your app becomes very complex and unmanageable, like the states are just too much to manage and keep track of, I would I would recommend looking into Use Reducer. Um, it it helps you simplify your code and um, yeah, I, I have the link to this in our in our doc for today. Um, I would really recommend looking into it. If you've heard of Redux, Redux basically does the same thing, but React built that functionality into this. So Redux allows you to, um, it's, a, it's a library that allows you to manage your state for the entire application as a whole. And it, it just, um, it's more, it's a little difficult to use at first. It's just an, a new way of, of doing things. Um, but in the long run, as your application keeps growing, it helps manage the state so much better. Um, and it is very recommended to use. Um, so React built their own way of doing this. So instead of using an external library, you can just use React to manage all your state no matter how complex it gets. Um, okay, just wanted to mention that. Um, okay, our code is still working. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be using, we're gonna be working on our um, on our code. Let me just close this real quick. Um, we're gonna be continuing to work on our new site. So we're gonna be switching gears a little bit. Um, okay. So our new site, it still has the list of articles. Um, our page works, but currently, our nav bar items, it doesn't really do anything. It just puts, uh, it, it does an alert of, that says you clicked um, whatever the name of the section is. So I, I would like us to implement today being able to click on this and then it will reroute us to maybe sec slash sections slash whatever the name is. So if I, I click ask, then it would go to ask and it should reroute us to that. But I need to put the hash. So here, nothing is here because I don't have this defined. Um, but let's, let's implement that. So we wanna be able to click on one of the nav items and then it will take us to our, um, our modified list pretty much. So ask, show, um, there's typically in our data. So if we look at our, our news in here, 
there is um, tags. There's a tags attribute. We haven't used it yet, but this will help us um, filter out the data. So because our data set is so small, we don't have many different types of, um, of items. So here, most of them are story, um, but some of them have show, or sorry, not show HN, I think ask. So we would be able to do the ask. Um, okay, so any tag that has ask HN, ask Hacker News, um, that is what we want to display when we click on our ask. Um, so we might not be able to implement them for all of these, but let's at least do it for, for this one button. But make it generic enough where um, if we click on the rest of the buttons, we should use the same functionality to, to get what we want. Um, okay, so, so what is our first step? Um, in doing this. So here we're looking at the data. This is the raw data that we have. And we realize that we have an attribute that we want to access, but we don't have it currently in being used. So what's our first step here? So just a reminder in our app, we grab the data and then we put it into a state but we only grab certain information. So our tags are not included in here. So what, what do we have to do first? So we can either include them in those tags there or we can make a new state to grab it, I guess. Yeah, so um, with the new state, how would that look? What would you? Um, I mean, you would have pretty much the same map function, but instead of all articles and set all articles, you would use uh, const tags, mm -hmm. set tags. I, I guess I don't really know why you would be setting the tags, but um, you would map through article mm -hmm. index and then return tags is equal to or the key tags has the value article dot underscore tags. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think is better? Just adding the tags to here, adding a new line and just importing yes. the tag? Yeah, this is the faster. Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna say tags is going to be article dot underscore tags. That's the name it's given. Um, and now wherever we have all articles, our tags are gonna show up as well. Um, so That'll be nice. We'll have access to that. Um, okay, so now we know that we, our data is there. Um, what's what's the next thing that we should do? There are many things that we can do right now. Um, we can start with any of them. So I guess I'm confused on what we're actually using the tags for. Is it, so. In the sections, is that what the sections is going to be or? Yes, yes. So anything that says ask HN will be technically under the, the ask section. Okay. So if we okay. click on this, we should still see a list of articles, but the list of articles will be modified. It will only show the ones with the, the ask HN tag pretty much. So we should send that information through our app nav component. Okay. So routes, um, where's our app nav? App nav, okay. So what do we want to send? So here we have our section information. Let's look at our section information real quick. So this just has a list of the labels. Um, do we think it's sufficient? So what I was thinking was we could add the alias that, so the name of the tag that we're gonna find. So I can say the label is whatever we're gonna display onto the screen, but the tag is what we can use to actually match the data up. So for the ask one, it's going to be 
ask each end. I think for this one, it's comments. I don't think we have any comments in this in this set of data, but um, that is also a valid one. Um, I think show will be show HN. Comma. Let's just keep it like this for now. Um, and then we can add anything else later on. So what does this modify? So this is being pulled into our now app nav. So now our sections that we're grabbing are going to look a little different. Um, but it won't change anything here. So here we're only accessing section.label every time. Um, so I didn't really change anything. I just added a new attribute that will um, keep, uh, keep track of the tags. Um, so what, what should I do here? You're saying we can start at the app nav. What do we want to do? So currently when we're clicking on an app nav section, it is, this is yeah. the on-click behavior. Sorry. Right. Just re so it's giving an alert right now. Exactly. We, and so we just needed to reroute. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. So this one's already a link. So I think the link has, I think it has an href attribute. Um, let's actually look it up real quick. So I'm going to do React. Uh, I think it's Bootstrap. We did grab a Bootstrap element. Um, nav link. I think that's good enough. We can look at our link here. That one's a disabled one. Um, link, we can set the href to whatever we want. Okay, so that's simple enough. Let's go back here. Our href is going to be what? What should we set our, our href to? So we wanna link it to a page that says maybe slash sections slash whatever the section name is. Yeah. Okay. So it's slash sections. Um, I might need to put the hash. Most likely we'll need to put it. Um, so section slash, what do I add here? Uh, you need to put the curly brackets so you can do the back ticks, and then you're going to put section dot tag. Yeah. And here it's dollar sign section dot tag. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, on click, I'm going to delete the on click because we don't really need it. Um, so now when our href, um, when, when our link reroutes, it'll reroute to this page. So if we go here, we go to our page, if I click on ask, it goes to section slash ask HN. Um, so we have an undefined here. Yeah, ask HN. So this is not showing anything because we don't have any routes defined at these locations. So does not exist yet. Um, so yeah, maybe that's our next step. Where should I go from here? Come on, let's keep it interactive. <laughs> so I want to define a route. Where where should I go to define my route? App.jsx. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. So I have my routes down here. Um, what should this route be? What's what's the path? Uh, should we just have it into, shouldn't it be the same thing that we just gave it in the NAD? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what was that? Sections, right? Section tag. So sections slash, um, let me just check that it's, yeah, multiple sections. Okay. Um, and then we can give it a variable because it's going to change and we want this one route to handle um, all the changes. So um, I can name this anything. I can just name it um, section tag. Okay. Um, and which element should I give it? I don't think we have an element yet. Um, so we wanna create one. So this element, um let's just call it a section page i think that's the section page okay and right now it's not going to be taking in any props um okay so our next step is probably creating this page um so i'm going to go into my pages folder and i create a new file called section page JSX. And then here, I'm going to just create it. So export default section page. Um, I forgot to say that it's a function as well. So export default function, section page, and then we have here, and this is section page. Okay, so if I now click in theory. He spelled return wrong. Oh, thank you. Return. Let's go back here. Section page is not defined. What does this error usually mean? That we didn't import it. Nope. So I have to go, this is where I'm gonna be using it. So I have to import it at the top. I'm gonna to import section page and now it should work. Okay, so if I click on ask, it reroutes me to sections. Did I misspell it? Sections. It's going to name it section. Shouldn't change it though. Okay, cool. I think it didn't like. I have no idea what just happened. Okay, starting off fresh, go to this page. Okay, it's showing up. I think before it didn't like that we had uh, um, what is this called? <laughs> this this character. Hyphen. Um, hyphen, yes. It didn't like that um, in our, yeah, so it's not showing up. Okay, so I think if I put an underscore though, yeah, that would have worked. Okay, so it doesn't like hyphens inside of our variable names um, or our, our parameter names. So just remember that. Um, okay, so we are able to reroute to our section page. What should be our next step? So back in our app nav, when we click on a link, 
we are putting the section tag in the URL and we're calling that. So what, what can we do now? How can we display stuff in the section page? Um, what's, what's our next move? Um, getting it through the section page there um, that we just made, being able to render it to pull it in. Okay. So what's our first thing that we should pull on, pull in from here? So our section page is attached to a path that has a parameter. So maybe we can start there. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing some nods. So let's do that. Um, what am I importing? Use state. Use state? I think, yeah. How can I grab the parameters? Uh, for, well, you have the context, so you need to use context. Okay, so I'll, I'll import use context as well. Um, use context. Um, what else? What else can be helpful here? So I have my my routes. Yeah, use params. Robert and Sam. Yes, that is also something I would like to import. So use params. This is coming from React Router DOM, and this will give me access to the parameter in the URL itself. So when I click on ask, this is going to tell me that this is the tag that I need to look for. So um, I'm gonna need to take this tag here. And does anyone remember the syntax of this? Const or let whatever in, in bracket. Okay. <laughs> So, equal plus okay, so oops. Um, curly braces, I'm going to call this. Um, well, it has to be the same name that I gave it. So I have to look back here. It's called section tag. So I'm going to go back to here to my section page. And I'm going to say that I'm going to grab my section tag from use params. Use params is basically just going to return an object that has section tag, and this is how I can just easily pull that through. Um, so with tag, section tag. So let's make sure that we're actually being able to pull it through. And now it shows up. So if I change whatever page it is, um, it'll change with us. Awesome. Um, okay, so what else? What's next? We're grabbing our parameter. What do we want to display here on this page? Every article that has a tag of ask HN. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I don't seem to have my articles here. Let's maybe grab those first. So how how do we do that? That'll be use context, and you're just going to say const uh, whatever you want to call it articles um, equals use context, mm -hmm. and then I forget what you uh, just article context. Yeah. So article context uh, or articles context. Right. It exists, but I don't have it imported. So now it imports it for me. Um, so yeah, this will give me access to my articles. Um, I can loop through and just print it out. So I can just do articles.map. I should probably put these in curly braces. Oops. Ah. Okay. So articles.map. Um, it's going to take an article, or it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take an article and then it's going to let's say return um what should we return here? 
So if we want to just display articles or article teasers, we have a component for that, right? Yeah. So we have a component that's called article teaser that will just display information about it. Um, actually, what's another component that we've created that could just help us display a list of articles? Article list. Yep. So instead of actually looping through, we already wrote that, that um, logic. So in here, it just takes an article and then it maps through. Um, so one thing that won't be good is that we're using the context here. So it's going to take the original list. And if we want to send in a modified list, it's not going to take in that list. So that's that's one of the dangers of using context in certain places. It's It won't be generic enough if you want to change that data pretty much. So here, my article list, I want to send in a modified list after my filtering. So I won't, I shouldn't be using this. So I'm going to actually delete line seven from um, article list. So I'm not going to use the context here. And I'm going to change this to articles. Um, so yeah, the only reason to do this is because, like I said, we want to have the article list be able to display um, a list that's not only this original list, but if I call it from a different page, then I can send in whatever list I want and then it, it would display it. So if I go back to my section page, I can actually say um, article list. And then I have to see what it takes in. I think it only takes in an article, which is... Yeah, so article list, it takes in articles. So I just have to go back to, I'm just gonna close some of these. Close that, and this, and this. So in here, I'm just gonna send in my articles that I grabbed or that I have. Okay, so now, we go back to the section page. This is the section page and it's just listing out all the articles. Um, okay, I was making sure that those errors were not current. Um, okay, so what we have to do is probably filter this. So let's, let's do that. What, what can we do now? What's an approach to filter this? How can we... Create a new list and use a filter function to uh, filter out the articles that have that tag in it. Yeah, that works. Um, how how should we do that? Where should we put this code? I would think above the return statement and then return whatever we assigned as that list in the return statement. Okay, so what should I call this? Let's make a function. Um, maybe filtered article or or get or create or I think get filtered is fine. Okay. Um, so what is this function going to return? What do you want it to return? Whatever article has that tag in it, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a few ways you can do this. So we can either have this function get us our articles and just return articles, um, like a, a, just a list of objects. We could also have it return an article list. So we can call this maybe um, display uh, display art like filtered article list. And then we can have it instead of here, we can just call the function. And instead of that, 
Um, and that function will return this article list with the new filtered articles. So there's a few ways of doing that. So we can do that one, um, or we can do, like you were saying, filter the articles, then return a list. Um, it's not going to be empty, but basically this function can be instead of this articles object or its articles list. Um, any preference? No. Okay. Um, let's filter this article. Um, so I'm going to call this filtered list equals articles.filter. Okay. How do we filter? What, what should I write in here? So you want to do article dot, uh, so it's going to take in an article. Hmm. Okay, so article. Um, and then you want to basically return anything where the article tag or article dot tag um, includes, uh, let's see, where is it? Just section tag. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is basically what we want to do. So return um, whatever article tag has the section tag in it. Um, so we need to do a few, like an extra step here to, to actually make this logic um, come about. So what, what can we write here? to check, because so the tags are, it's gonna be a list. It's a list of tags. So we need to make sure that the section tag is included inside of this tag list. How can we do that in JavaScript? You're gonna have to push to a new list, I okay. guess. Um, well, we no, you can just do a for loop. So like for tag in, tags yeah. so article dot yeah. tags um this one will like that okay that's python okay so what do i put in here so we're looping if what if section tag is equal to uh, tag. Then I'm sorry though, why are we doing a for loop inside the filter? So the filter is to filter the articles. So let's look at the data real quick. Um, so inside of each article, there's a tags attribute. And inside of this tags, there's a list. So we're looping through the tags themselves. So filter is going to give us access to the the article, like one article at a time. Um, but the loop is to check inside of the tags um, array. OK, too easy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just put this in parentheses. That goes here. OK. So if section tag equals tag, um, what do we what do we want to do? Return true. I think we have to return true, right? For it to to take effect. So if it's true, then that means that this item will be filtered into the list because it matches our um, our criteria. Yeah, I have to look at how filter okay. works again. It's been yeah. a while. Let's let's try it out. Let's see if it actually filters the list. So filtered list. Um, maybe we can print it out first. So we can do a console log. Filtered list. Um, but basically filter should per article. Um, this should evaluate to true or false. So whatever is in here. 
should um, should evaluate to a true or false. If it's true, then it will add that certain article to the list that we want. Um, if it's false, then it won't include it. So that's why we usually have a condition. So it's either like um, ID is greater than something or or this equals something. Um, that's that's what we're looking for. So the only, yeah. And the reason why we have our, our for loop is to look through the tags, um, but we can also filter that if we wanted. Um, it's probably a more elegant way to do it as well. Okay, so we're gonna filter our list. We're gonna console log it, and then we're gonna return it. Um, I'm gonna remove this. I just realized that I am doing the return inside of the, the filter function. So I'm gonna just fix that real quick. Um, okay, so that's the filter function. And then I'm gonna console log and return. Um, the function is not actually being called anywhere. So I'm just gonna call it once here, just to test it out. Okay. Section tag assignment to undeclared variable tag. I think I have to say um, let tag. I believe that's the. Let's go back here. Go to ask. Um, okay, get filtered articles on line 13. So here, do I have to put this in parentheses? We need a let or a const or something in front of filtered list, don't we? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. I completely forgot about that. OK. OK, so this. Oh, I forgot that we're not actually displaying the list. I was trying to find um, that. Okay, we're going to look at here. I'm going to clear out these. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so we're going to, we're getting a, an array. It is not finding anything. So our, our array length is zero. So that means our filtered list is zero. Um, yeah, both of them are. So if we go here. Okay, so it's not actually grabbing, it's not actually filtering properly. So let's try to figure that out. Um, so in here, I'm going to console log the section tag and the tag itself. Um, do, do we need to use the function in the, when we return the article with us? below do we need to pass that through somewhere yeah so if we pass that into here so I, here i'm just calling it um so i should have seen it inside of the console logs working properly but yes so instead of articles we would be sending this in because it's going to be sending in a list of filtered articles um so yes. okay we were, and we are only checking for the console logs there okay my bad yeah i was yeah um, so now, because it's not working, I'm just going to do some debugging. So I'm going to console log the section tag. Um, I'm also going to say that it's section tag. Um, tag. Okay. And I'm also going to console log. Let's see what this does. So I'm going to refresh. I am not getting any of the information. For the, auto, the articles, isn't it supposed to be underscore tags? 
Where is it? Um, the um, tag in article here. Tag. So we did. We did change that. So we did. Okay, tags. Okay. Yes, tags. Yeah, yeah. The spelling error. Where? Line, line thirty-seven. Atricles. Get filtered atricles on line thirty-seven. Line 37, 30, 37. Thank you. <laughs> Articles. Um, will that actually fix it? No. It filtered articles. Did I misspell it twice? Yeah, that's because I misspelled it twice. Okay. I. I'm just going to keep our, the regular articles here, um, and I'm going to keep that one function call over here. Make it filtered articles that's spelled correctly. Um, you have to put the console logs outside of the if statement because they don't equal each other right now. Thank you. Ah, okay. So this is what the element looks like. It's tag zero, tag one. Oh, uh, it's because we need to put of instead of in. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so now that's working, or that's at least looking a little better. And then the array, yeah, it filtered it filtered four objects. Awesome. And they're all ask HN. Okay, good catch. Um, yeah, what is the difference between of and in? So based on what we just had in the console so in is just the index position of uh the list that you're looking at and uh of is the actual value or the element that exists at that index awesome. so like if you were doing it to like a string you know like you had a string that was you know pizza instead of letters you would just get zero one two three four mm -hmm. yeah Awesome. Um, okay, so we know that this is working. I can remove my console logs. You can also remove this one. And then I'm gonna call this function in here. So that way it'll send the list of filtered, the filtered list into the articles that need to be displayed on this section page. Um, so let us test that out. So here, now we're only seeing four articles. Awesome. Um, if I go to show, we have a few of them. Um, I think, yeah, we don't have any comments. Um, I think these are the only ones that we're gonna be able to see, but yeah, this is basically how we can implement this. Um, any questions? Can you go back to um, your sections page? Mm -hmm. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Any questions? Yes, after uh, Jaden's done seeing this page, can you go back to the routes? The routes, yeah. Um, are you done, Jaden, or you want some more time? I think you're muted. I uh, yeah, I muted and I'm muted. Sorry. Um, I'm good. Mine's just not working, but I don't think it's on this page, so we're good. Okay. So here's our our app. Is this what you wanted to see? Oh, you wanted to see the routes, right, Kayla? Yeah, I'm I'm getting um a, a route error. In Okay. Not exactly why. So um, what is, yeah, what's the error? 
It says no routes, match location, uh, slash, slash, section, slash, ask, HN. Did you, did you make sure this is a, an underscore and not um, a hyphen? Yeah, I have the underscore. Okay. Um, did me. you, in your nav app, when you're navigating, did, did you put the, the hash? Yeah, happy. Okay. Finish. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, we can we can debug now if you guys want. Um, this is a decent stopping point. I don't think we can get the search completely done in, uh, in ten minutes. Were you able to figure out, Jaded? No, not it doesn't look like it. Uh, then, okay, yeah, mine's. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Let's see what it says again. Yeah, you can share your screen if you'd like. Okay, one second. I have my stuff all kinds of weird. Let me move <laughs> this to my regular one. I'm hoping I'm just overlooking something, which it probably am. Okay. Okay. Probably did I miss an import or something? Because I'm reading map. Oh, it might be in my article list. So all articles. Um, are you sending in where are you calling the article list from? Um section page, right? Yeah. Um, so on line 26, check the article, like the, the attribute name. So the attribute name has to match what's in article list. And I think you called it all articles instead of just articles. At the oh, top. Yeah. yeah, I did call it all articles. And so that's going to be... So where am I putting all articles here? So all articles is the attribute name that is going, or the name of the prop that is going into article list. So on line 26, that's where you instantiate article list and you're sending in a prop called articles, but you want it oh. to be, yeah, you want it to be all articles. Yeah, so check that. Okay. That's working. Um, it's been so long, I don't remember what I called everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, do you want to refresh your console to make sure there's no other errors? Other than the key there that's always there forever and okay. always. Awesome. So it's only returning four, right? For this yep. page? Nice. OK, that works. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, Kayla, did you have something you were stuck on? or? Who else was stuck? Uh, yeah, I fixed the I fixed the route error, mm -hmm. but I think I, I think I um I think I just have a syntax error somewhere. It's telling me that tag is not defined on my section page. Do you want to show? Uh, sure. Oh wait, I just got it working. Yeah, it was it was just a syntax error. Okay, awesome. Um, all right. Uh, are there any questions about about anything? Um, anything from today? Actually, we can look over use effects or um, 
Yeah, anything? All right. 